freak in uncomfortable different positions and situations so we could really one depend on him and two trust in him welcome back to my channel so today i'm so excited because i missed you guys i hope you guys are having a wonderful day um and i'm like what is wrong with me i need to film but you know when the babies are sleeping that is like the best time that i'm filming like so for example right now it is 12 19 almost one in the morning okay and this is a time that i feel like it's the best time for me to film once again because the babies are sleeping they want to grab the makeup they want to grab the brushes but we are here today so real quick in case i get asked about my necklace that i have on so fun fact i used to make jewelry back in 2014 and i have a lot of jewelry pieces if you see them unique like this I made them <laughs> I've done this in 2015 and look the rocks are actually from the Dominican Republic so they are they are unique rocks so this is why they have lasted so long and honestly I miss doing jewelry so I don't know would I go back and do jewelry who knows I'm kind of getting um, inspired and, and honestly to just just, just be like, I kind of miss doing jewelry. So we'll see. That's for another topic. Okay, well, let's get right into this makeup look. I am just going to just go with the makeup look, chit chat with you guys, um, try out new techniques, new makeup. Um, and like I said, new techniques is because every day I am learning so much as I do my makeup more. Because I used to not, I used to do my makeup every day. But now that I'm starting to do my makeup every day, I'm like, okay, I'm learning new things as we go. And hopefully these tips and tricks as well uh, could help you. So let's get right into the video. I'm going to put a primer, but I am going to pick up the Bobbi Brown primer. I'm just going to put this in the back. So I just feel like if you see my old videos, I had more acne. And honestly, what I'm doing now is working a lot on my face. My foundation, I am going to be picking up the Rare Beauty Concealer in 380W. And you're probably wondering, why are you putting concealer? And the answer is, I honestly been liking to put concealer as foundation. I'm not sure if I talked about it in my other videos that I still have to edit. So if you see this one before that, or you see the other one before it, and I'm talking about it, I'm sorry. But I literally, I don't remember if I ever talked about it. Because this is actually a new concealer that I bought. And honestly coverage that i get with this product so i don't know i am a full-time wife a full-time mom a full-time pastor a full-time radio host a full-time counselor because you know you speak with people being a pastor um you know um social media you name it um full-time student so literally it's like i have a lot lots going on so I think I'm going to do my face before I do my eyeshadow. You know what? No, let's do our eyeshadow first. I'm just being inspired for my shirt, my jewelry that I have on. So I literally was going to the palette and I feel like this was the closest. And this is an Urban Decay Born to Run. See No Evil, what I like about it, it's basically it catches the criminal people on um, camera, right? And basically they catch... They catch the crim the cr they catch the criminals, and as we were watching it, I just feel like sometimes people think that they could get away with murder. See the show, so I'm gonna do like a cut crease. So I'm kind of doing that just so I could kind of see where I'm gonna be getting the the shade. Okay, so honestly, I just feel like it's just so crazy to me how a lot of these people think that they could get away with murder. And, you know, they commit the crime. And it's literally on camera. And what I like about it is they give, like, real-life scenarios. So the show is called Sino Eva. Let me know in the comments below if you guys ever seen that show. So I'm going to be picking up this one. It's called Big, Big Sky. It's like this. It kind of matches with it. Oh, just follow me. But when God has a ministry for you and has something for you, Oh, honey, you could keep running. You're going to eventually come back. So, I... Sorry, I was trying to concentrate. Well, 
about doing this. Picking up this one is called Smog. And it's going to be this one right here. This is so pretty. So yeah, so it's called See No Evil. And like I said, I recommend you watch it if you have the opportunity to watch it. See? Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty in person. I just want you to know that it's the Lord that knows our steps, directs our path. And maybe it's not something that you want, but it's not something that God has for you. Because he always wants the best for us. And maybe right now you're like, how is this the best for me? Because this does not feel like it's the best for me. That's what you feel. But the Lord has to put us in different, in uncomfortable, different positions and situations. So we could really, one, depend on him and two, trust in him. Because when you're uncomfortable, no one likes to be uncomfortable. But in the comfortability is when you learn and you grow. I have learned so much in the processes in my life when I am uncomfortable. That's where the Lord shapes me the most. And I know it sounds like that does not make sense. I know. And it's not about making sense. It's about trusting him. So, I'm telling you, look at how your makeup just changes with lashes. Brush to blend all the creams. Face born this way. I honestly... Sometimes I always be picking up the same thing, but I just, I, if you see me constantly using the same thing, it's because I actually love it. Beauty pencil. What is stopping you from doing what God has called you to do? Is it a spouse? Is it friendships? Is it children? Is it the fear? Is it finances? I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm just curious, like. What is stopping you? So for under my eyes, I think I'm just gonna do a black liner. Shimmer kind of thing. And we're just gonna add a little bit just in the middle just to kind of complement and bring up. I'm gonna be picking up my lip pencil and cork, which is my favorite brown pencil. Then I want to actually use this one from MAC. This one is the teaser. All right, so I want to thank you so much for staying with me through this makeup tutorial. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video.